Hello loves, how are you all doing? I hope you all doing good. This is me again and thank you for being here with me. Thank you for watching and listening. I really appreciate it. I want you all to know that. And in this video, I'd like to share another episodes of my life, another moments in the corners of our home and places that we went to or going to. And as you can see, today is a shower day of our dogs. We have three dogs, Mavi, Mixi, and Sahara. OMG. <laughs> this is really a dog topic, isn't it? <laughs> I'm sorry about all the barkings. And also my voice is a bit horsey. I woke up like uh, this and I tried to drink water and see but still the same but anyway yeah i personally a certified dog lover i want to claim that and so i want to share a brief story about our dogs mabi is a rescued one we found him in somewhere here in the neighborhood but it's in the highway side the roadside there's an empty big place where construction is happening right now even up to now and my husband and I always brings leftover food to the stray dogs there and on this particular day we went there to also bring leftover and I saw a brown little puppy and when we stopped the car I saw the pup cross towards us and when my husband stepped out the car he was there already, sitting and waiting, waiting for whoever comes out from the car. And he was very soft, clean, and not scared at all. You know, despite the fact that uh, maybe how many, we don't know how many months he, he's been there, living around that area where construction's going on, even up to now, and it's too dusty, but he was clean as if somebody just uh, put him there like trying to lose him you know you know what I mean and when my husband hold him and ask me if I wanted to bring him with us I absolutely said of course I wanted to but how about you are you okay with that because you know Arab in general they're very seldom to accept dog inside especially inside your home they are most likely to have cats rather than dogs and so anyway my husband is okay about it and we ended up taking Mabi with us and he's one lucky boy that's how his uh, life started with us his humans and then a year after I was sitting on the couch, my husband called me and said, check your WhatsApp. I sent a photo and messages. And when I checked my WhatsApp, I saw a photo of a pup. And I said, what about this? Is that the owner of the puppy posted a photo of her, which is Mixie, in the group for adaptation. And he called them to tell them he will come to check the puppy. And then that the same day in the afternoon, we went to the house to our neighbors a few houses away from our home and checked the puppy. Mixie then was so very welcoming, very barky and jumpy, smiling and you know and licking <laughs> and they told us that there's another couple that wanted to check of the puppy and my husband told them it's all right you know let them check first if they end up uh, like the puppy just give it to, to them because we already have one at home otherwise just call us again and so in the afternoon a few hours after when we back at home the owners calls my husband and said that okay the other couple did not take mixi because uh, uh, 
it's too big for them already they wanted they prefer a smaller ones like zero to a month old so we ended up taking Mixi. we went back there and took Mixi with us and that's uh, how the little girl started here her life with us is her humans and she was very dominant little girl very barky and but very happy puppy and i told her like oh you cannot do that to me he's she's not listening at all i have to train you i have to tame you down and i did <laughs> and now she's still really barky but uh, Every time I command her to stop, she'd listen right away. And then, after a few months, again, I was lazily sitting on the couch. My husband called and said, check your watch up <laughs> again. <laughs> and I sent a photo there. So when I checked, I saw a photo of a dog. I said, okay, it's a dog. And again, how about, what about this? And he said that this dog is very uh, muskeen, like a bear pity. I think uh, he's, she's been lurking around the desert and striving, trying to dig anything that he can eat. In. And you can imagine that time it was uh, like this time, summer days in the middle of summer days in Middle East and in the desert. He said that uh, when the dogs saw him, she just uh, ran towards him and you know, as if she's asking for help, like as if, as if she's asking to my husband to bring her with him. And yes, I love dogs and I definitely can deal with them but I'm not sure with him, you know, and and I told him like, okay, I didn't say anything, but uh, not knowing that the dog inside the car already, you know, <laughs> so he already willing to bring Sahara with him. She was very skinny, very smelly, as in very poor little girl you know lurking around the desert in the middle of scorching sun anyway so i was surprised when he came home with the dog and that's how sahara started her life with us her humans they are all rescued and you know but uh, we love them and good for them and as well as good for us the humans it's a vice versa feeling <laughs> towards humans and animals and now my two months vacation is over and i'm kind of upset a little bit because we could not go out for a vacation as whole family for the reason that we have other living things living with us and we cannot just uh, ignore the responsibilities we have towards them. You know, when you decided to have all these living things to be around you, it comes a big responsibility. And that's all right, you know. It is who you are and, you know, what, uh, what can you give to this living things anyway um mama chef is cooking very quickly very easy way into your tummy a filipino dish it's uh, almost a uh, ready-made food because it's a uh, can canned food so i just reheated it actually you can stir fry it with the uh, onions and potatoes but i do not have time I'm doing it really quickly because we are going out to Bahrain. We have a, my son have a motorcycle thing. It's a toy, but you know, you can ride it. It's broken, so we have to bring it back to the shop where we bought it to 
to check if they can fix it. And so mga loves, I hope you'll enjoy watching the rest of the video. Please subscribe, like, and comment. If you have any suggestions, please comment down below so I would know. And thank you. God bless us all. Is best to check if uh, whether the novels is good yet or not.